This autumn barbecue bowl is sweet, smoky, and the perfect comfort food in the cold months of winter or fall. If you're a fan of sweet root vegetables, tangy barbecue sauce, and the crunch of pumpkin seeds, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Kelly from Simplify Fresh, and I make videos to help you make healthy eating easy. I like to keep my recipes simple, so this one just involves basically boiling water, throwing things on a cookie sheet in the oven to roast it, and mixing up some ingredients in a blender to make a sauce to pour over top of everything. So first, here are all the ingredients that you'll need for this recipe. I bought enough to make a double recipe, or 12 servings. We ate six the week that I made it, and froze six to eat later. The big flavor in this recipe comes from roasting things in the oven. I love roasting because everything gets that crispy, tender texture, and it really brings out the flavor of everything. So start by setting your oven to 400 degrees. I took four cups of Brussels sprouts, tossed them with olive oil, and roasted them in the oven for 15 minutes. I used eight cups of butternut squash, tossed with olive oil, and roasted for 20 to 30 minutes. And you'll see that to cut down on prep time, I bought pre-washed, pre-cut everything. While the butternut squash is roasting, I combined one and a half cups of quinoa with three cups of water, added a pinch of salt, and then placed it on the stovetop on medium high. Once it starts boiling, put the lid on, turn it down to low, and simmer for 15 minutes. While your squash is roasting and your quinoa is cooking, you can go ahead and prepare the rest. So place four or five beets in a roasting pan with some water and cover it with foil. Later, we'll just put that in the oven and they'll cook in there. Then take two packages of tofu and you're gonna press the water out. Here, I put them between two plates and then put a stack of books on top of the plates to put some weight on there and squish all the water out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and make my smoky, creamy cashew sauce topping. I made enough here for six servings, just the six that we're gonna eat this week. When I take the leftovers out of the freezer in the future, I'll make this sauce all over again. So start with half a cup of cashews, one half cup almond milk, two tablespoons nutritional yeast, one teaspoon miso paste, one teaspoon brown mustard, one half teaspoon paprika powder, I used smoked, and a little salt and a little pepper. You can blend that up in a blender. I used a Nutri-Ninja. You can stir it up in a bowl. Whatever you do, blend it together and go ahead and package it up to eat in the future. All right, so by this time, your Brussels sprouts will be done. Your quinoa can come off the stove. You wanna stir it and fluff it up. You wanna check on your squash. It's probably done at this time too. Once your oven is available again, it's time to cook the tofu and the beets. So you'll take that tofu that you pressed earlier, chop it up into little tiny cubes, add a couple squirts of barbecue sauce, one diced onion, mix it all together, and you're gonna wanna place it on a pan with parchment paper. This is really important because otherwise it will stick and it'll be a mess. So place all of this in the oven, cook for 15 minutes, stir the tofu again, and cook for 15 more minutes. While the tofu's in the oven, you can also have the beets in the oven on another rack. You don't need to touch them, just let them sit and do their thing. All right, once the tofu and beets are out of the oven, you are almost done. So place the quinoa, squash, Brussels sprouts, beets, and tofu together in a bowl. Add a little extra shredded carrots for some extra crunch. And then you're gonna top that whole thing with the creamy, smoky cashew sauce. And don't forget the pumpkin seeds. These give it a texture that you will savor. So when will you try your own autumn barbecue bowl? Let us know down in the comments below when you decide to give it a whirl. Also, if you liked this video, hit the thumbs up below. And if you know somebody else who would like it, be sure to share it with them. If you want more recipes like this in the future, please click the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the little bell if you want to be notified when we upload more content. One last question for you. What's your favorite ingredient for fall or winter? Is it beets or is it squash or is it Brussels sprouts? Or is it nothing that was in this recipe and something else that you love? Let us know down below. We would love to hear from you. I'll also give you a link to the blog down below where you can always go to find new recipes on our website. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.